there is a way to get a good look at the tail of the pancreas. This is a method that allows you to test by inserting a probe between the left rib and the rib. Draw a random line at the 9 o'clock 3 o'clock position for this Freud process, like now, at the point where it meets the mid-axillary line. When the probe is scanned while scanning in the 7 o'clock position, a picture like this will appear. You can only see the spleen. If you turn it around a bit, it will look like this. There is a spleen and there is a splenic vein that leaves the spleen. The splenic vein was said to be the most important landmark for finding the pancreas. It can be seen that the hypoetoic soft tissue seen in front of the splenic vein is the tail of the pancreas. If you have a tumor on the tail of the pancreas, first look at the splenic hilum. It is also important to take a good look at this part. So, there are people who can see the tail part of the pancreas well in the scan like now. There are people who can't see well, but there is a point where it is difficult to see people who are overbased. In order to see the tail in the pancreas well, if you use the left intercostal scan in the same way as now, a good view of the tail of the pancreas. I'll have to find the spleen first. First look for the spleen. Stick out your stomach. It looks the same as it is now. Now this is going to be the spleen. This is the case with the splenic vein. Anterior to the splenic vein is the pancreas. Here the soft tissue is the tail part of the pancreas. It is observed that the tail of the pancreas abuts the splenic hilum. Let's see again. Stick out your stomach. Hold your breath. Again, stick out your stomach. Breathing. In this way, the tail of the pancreas in front of the splenic vein was observed. 